Hank? Action. No. Quiet. Okay. <laughs> Got that. <laughs> on, on this um, silver, we're going to paint the spout or the handle first. Either one you want to paint. So you can get the feel of how to drag paint around because we're going to put the darkest shadows in first. Clean the brush and let the let the water do the work. Okay? I've already okay. I've already done that. So I'm gonna go in here. Makes me a little dark paint. And it can't be I was trying to make it a little bit bluer because I, I liked this blue stuff but it didn't work. Anyway, so see all these lines we have here. You can use those lines to paint. I'm gonna paint the spout first and it is it is dark, so I'm gonna go ahead and paint it, paint it in. One of, one of the reasons I like to go ahead and paint the darks is it gives me a road map. Oh, look at that. Hmm. Well, I'll just use that. I'll make me a little jiggy there. This will be this will be all right. This shape is not right, but it's because I messed it up, so I'm going to make another shape out of it. When you're looking at your drawing, just paint real dark on the line, clean your brush, clean the water, and just let it flow. And don't go back. Dark here. I'm going to make those little round things I was telling you about that I saw. Wherever you see a round, it's still dark up here on the top of this teapot. That's dark, dark. Clean your brush with the clear water. Touch it, touch it. That's going to make your that's going to make a nice light color for you because you can just drag it in, drag it around. Let the water work for you. It needs to be darker so you'll come back and do your darkest darks. See how that's just sucking that water? I'm not really doing anything but putting the dark down and, and letting the water pull it. I'm dark right here so I'm going to go on the outside I'm going to paint this. But I'm, I want this to bleed down a little bit. So I'm going to go right here. And just leave a white spot there. Mm -hmm. This is dark underneath. I have a pretty good hand for this, but put some water in it. If you want to leave some lights, go ahead and leave some lights there. I think, I don't, I mean, I'm painting off this, but I'm painting here. So I'll just bring this right on down. I'm really just painting on these lines. When you come back in with a little bit darker water and a little bit of darker paint. Let's see. Here's my picture. Here we go. This is going to be easier to paint off of. I'm going to make this. Uh, I'm going to make this one darker underneath. If it bleeds into here, fine. That's pretty. I might like that line right there, that that lightness. So I might just leave it. See this steely gray look it's getting mm -hmm. right in here? Mm -hmm. it's like so. That's just cleaning your brush, letting the water work. All right, these lines right here, and I can, I can come back and work on your on your drawings just a little bit. Start one place or the other. Let's start on the top. 
can use that line, skip that line. Let's use this line. Skip that line. Let's use this line. Okay. I'm going to, with clean water, move that gray down. I don't want to fill in all these holes because I want to come back in with some of these colors that are going to be reflected up here. But wherever you see dark in your reference photo, make a dark image. See, you've got dark light, dark light, dark light. Mm. You have to sort of pay attention to what you're doing because you, you can get lost. But when you drop paint in and it's still wet, it'll read. Okay, I'm going to use this line. I sort of like that, so I'm going to let this come here. This teapot's coming in this direction. Mm -hmm. This is going to dry sort of like this. You know, it's going to dry a little bit lighter. Now, I'm going to pull this under here. Pull that there. I think I'm going to make... I think I'm going to make this yellow go in here, so I'm going to just pull this down. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just painting. I'm really not looking at the reference right now. See those little holes I'm leaving? You can always come back in and fill it in. Just so you don't paint it solid. Mm -hmm. Lines, lines, lines. This might be dry enough. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe mm -hmm. to come back up here at the top and, and see how I went ahead and established some darks. Come back in here and just touch it, touch it, touch it, touch it, and let the water work. It, it does take a lot of touch. Regina's going to like this, maybe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ordinarily, I would clean it up on the way out, <clears throat> but I want y'all to see how that water's just mm -hmm. doing its thing. I don't, no, I don't know what it's going to do. It's just a, it's just a roll of the dice. What it does. But I'm going to leave this a little. Well, I'll do a little light under here. All I'm going to do is follow the line of the drawing because you won't know that that's not color. It's right here. This. I'm going to put in, okay, this is getting into this area, so I'm just going to pick a little dark, pick a little dark, pick a little dark. As long as you keep going in a, in a sort of a round motion, that's a little, little bit heavier. This is a, a full area in here, but I might make that yellow, and I might make that yellow, and I might make that red. So these are some places here that I can paint some darks, but I can also add some color from down here. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let this bleed. So you, are you going to just kind of let that... I'm going to let this dry, okay. and then I'm going to come back in and decide. and decide how much I want. But okay. see, I'm just mopping these colors, these dark colors that I put in with clear water. Make it up here tight. I'm, I'm basically just filling in the lines. All right, we'll do a dark here. I don't know what that is. It's not a color. We'll do a dark here. We'll do a dark here. Um, this right here. See this image right here? Mm -hmm. That's a reason to put a, a good dark in there. It's sort of like the crystal in that you can let it bleed. Okay, let's just go there. Clean your brush. Oops. Right. And uh, I 
told you brush. not to sit by me. <laughs> Clean your brush and just sort of mop it around. See, the water's painting that. I'm not painting that. That's sort of cool, isn't it? Yes. See yeah. how it, how it yeah. pulls it and mm -hmm. pulls it? Yeah, I can see it just go shh. Yep. And if you, this needs to be a solid, uh, you know, a darker image here like I've got, mm -hmm. but I can let this dry. Well, this is dark. Let me sort of move it a little bit. I've left enough whites that I can come in here and throw any yellow anywhere. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put some up here. Mm -hmm. or, or green. I can, I can, as long as it's logically where your mind would tell you that mm -hmm. you can see a reflection. Mm -hmm. You don't really see it in my reference pictures. Because, well, you, you really don't, but there's some there, there's some yellow, yellow, there's some red, there's some yellow, mm -hmm. yellow, red, red. Put it where you want it. But this area right here, this is going to be reversed. This is light, this is dark. So I'm going to have to have my light down here, which is going to be maybe some green tones See right here. This is dark, this is light. Well, I've already got that dark up here. So I'm going to leave this light. I'm going to leave this one, this light, and give me some weight because you don't want all these little bitty, bitty, bitty shapes. Look how, do you see that? Did you see how that pulled it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's let that dry. Now, let's go up in the top. I think I need some really darks right in here. So this is dry enough. So I'm going to go down just like this. Pull it. That's pretty cool. See, it, when it does that um, blending on its own, yeah. you don't. It's not like you've done anything. I need to come up under here. Still got paint on my on my brush. I'm gonna go around this with my brush and around this with my brush. I'm using my drawing, but I'm trying to be as gentle as I can. Oops! Watch that. Pop. That's a good save. Yeah. This might not be quite dark enough up here, but I think I'm gonna quit this right now and go into here, so y'all can move right down the. If if I do some lights first, here's some dirty water. I'm going to start right up in here. Where's my drawing? Oh, no, this is right where I want to be. This is light stuff. So I think, where's that tissue paper? I'll do on this. Because my hand might be there. Okay. See where all these lights are? We know this is going to be light. So I'm going to start with a light. That's right there. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna sort of do it. This is wet. Can you see how wet that is? Mm -hmm. Leave some lights. Come on down. Bring it over here. I'm just, I'm just taking the, I'm basically taking the color taking the white off the, off the painting. And that's too much off, so, oops, that's green. This is gonna be the white of the fabric that was in the background. This little thing right here is the reflection of this. Uh -huh. See this right here? Uh -huh. So I, I probably should have painted before I started, but since I didn't, I'm going to have to let this dry so I can come in here and paint these dark images up there. And I also put some color up there. But if you have enough water on your brush, I'm going to come on around here. I'm going to come on around here. But this is where you need your puddles of water. And I'm not doing, I'm not doing it real um, gently. Because this is going to be a darker shadow. I'm going to put some more darks in, but I wanted to get 
this area so I can get up in here and show you about the windows and all that. Okay. This is still light. This is still real light. Okay, I'm going to put some up here. I'm going to put some right here. This is sort of painting with your brush. This water is dirty. So since I'm with the grays, mm -hmm. it's okay for me to be in this water. Start cleaning the edge there. I'm gonna come on up here. I'm gonna do this faster than I ordinarily would, but I want us to get this done. I'm not gonna paint any color here or any color here. I'm gonna leave that white. Like I say, those were the lights in my studio. Okay, there, there. Here's another little hit right there while it's sort of wet. Here while it's sort of wet. You can come in and do a little work while it's sort of wet, but y'all probably ought to wait till it, till it dries. But see how I left a white rim around here? I didn't paint all the way up to the edge right here. I'm going to. Here, I'll do it now. I left a little bit. I'm going to paint this edge. And I'm going to let that water draw it in. If it's an accident and it just blooms in, mm -hmm. fine. There's some more up here. Some more up here. Because that's that side of the gray. Okay, let's play over here. And let's play here. And let's play. Yeah, I won't do that yet. Together really quick. What's your plan with this? Huh? Yeah. Well, I just it's just the way I do it. But it's easier, and that way it's not heavy, and it, you know, it's clean, because mm -hmm. you're not going back into mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. This is going back That's in, this, like this, how you this. Is you don't go back in and mess it up like I do. Well, if you want to, if you want to go back in, mm -hmm. let it dry as much as you can stand it. And then maybe make an image with water, and, and just drop some paint in and let the water move it around. That way you won't have the brush mixing it. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you can put it in water and it won't mix, it'll be clean. Mm -hmm. See, I just dropped that in there. Right there. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do this. This is supposed to be green. Uh, I don't want to do it right now. I'm going to start on this, on this dark stuff going on up so you can see. These were the studio windows in my shop. That's the ceiling right there. This is the ceiling, this is the ceiling. So. That's a little blue. Okay. I'm gonna come here. I'm gonna work right in here first. Now, you know what? I'll work up here first because you can see the dark better. I told them to behave themselves. <laughs> Those little women in Virginia. Yeah. Are mm -hmm. they playing? Yes. Okay. No, I'm not paying a bit of attention. That's all. Okay. Don't get any attention. I'm not paying a bit of attention. We got some dark paint They're going. Being okay. Around these images, around the outside edge, around the outside edge here. I'm putting some pretty heavy paint. That's a window, that's the green ring. So I'm coming around the outside of the window. Outside of the window. I'm coming to here. Okay, that's gonna be a light place right there. So, with my brush, I'm gonna to touch it drag it out there. Try not to get really into this outside edge. And stop. This is white. Leave your little playroom. edge when it dries winds up the darkest part. Got out of the line so I just fixed that. 
that this is white. So I'm keeping my finger on it so I won't lose my white. This comes under here, here. I'm gonna put some dark there. Then I'm gonna let it bleed over. Pull the paint from the side. I waited too long to pull that, but put a little bit more in there. Because it's okay. Just as long as you leave some white, when, you, when you're careful and you just let the paint pull itself, I'm just going to leave that alone. Mm -hmm. Paint here, a little dark. I sort of like that white thing, so I'm going to leave it for right now. I have to keep my finger on where I am. This thing right here is this Juttdale. So I know this is going to be black. The sides of the pot go in here and go in here. So this line would be here. I didn't mean to put it all the way to the edge, but I wanted you to see it. In the structure of the pot, See how I broke that up? Mm -hmm. Well, I, I did it solid here, so I'll have to redo it somewhere else. But that line is the shadow from where the side, from where the bottom of this teapot makes a turn. Mm. This dark shadow right here. Oh. See this right here, how dark that is? So I'm just going to bring it on over. I'm not really going to the grays. That's my green in there. It's probably best if you work straight down the page. If you come from the top, look how this is drying. See that's lighter, mm -hmm. darker on the edges, mm -hmm. and that's the way it would be if the if the image, if you were looking at the image in the teapot, mm -hmm. the closer it gets to you in the round, the lighter it is. Mm -hmm. So that's okay. Okay, let me go ahead and do this.